Hey everyone, welcome back to the Book Vandal Shop. I have another journal for you today, and I am going to try to make it through this video. This will be the fourth time I've tried to film this journal um, tonight, so hopefully we'll get it done. This says, The Journey Awakens the Soul. That's a Tim Holtz metal embellishment. My husband's home, so it makes things kind of crazy with the dogs. Adventure is what that says there. There we go. He let he let the rowdy one in the room with him, so we should be good to go now. All right, so I'll talk about these things just a little bit. This is from a book. Um, uh, actually, I'll go get it for you so you can see it, um, and then I'll tell you where these digitals are from real quick. Hang on. Okay. This book, it's ginormous, is a, an Rand McNally's Atlas, an old atlas. It was an 1876 atlas originally, and then this is a reproduction from uh, a reproduction from the late 50s or 60s. So it has it has a lot of maps and um, it has some old uh, advertisements in it. See, so I've pulled a lot of things out of this book to use that were kind of neat. And then the digitals, real quick, came from LJB Instaprints, Artie Mays, Graphics Fairy, and My Porch Prints, um, Stephanie at My Porch Prints, and her digitals. The only thing I used was um, I used some of her plain, um, you can't hardly see it, her plain faded notebook papers on the backs of things. So I'll put all those links below. I'm not going to point out every single person's digital that's in this journal. That just takes way too long, so I'll just say them now and, okay. In this envelope, I just have a piece of tea dyed paper that I've distressed. So you have that for writing. And then I have a little journaling card here that I had paper clipped on the back. There we go. And some airplane paper. Deli paper. Yeah, it's these from my uh, Stephanie from my porch prints. It's these grungy looking background papers. That's what I used from her. Okay, then I have a little, it's like a little wing. Thing. Let's see if I can get it in focus. There we go. That kind of looks like a little piece of broken pottery. I don't know. I thought that was kind of neat. I have a ticket. I have a little piece of map from that book. And then I have some tea dyed paper to put in there. The travel journal kit is the one that was from LJB Instaprints. So. That, and that was like these papers and some of the tags you'll see later. Here's a menu from Grand Hotel St. James. Yeah, that's one of those Stephanie My Porch Prints papers. Okay, and then here we have a little pocket. And then this pulls out. And then this cute little couple here, and it says something about souvenir views. And then behind, have a Tim Holtz journaling card. And some pictures I had to do about Belgium, but they were kind of neat. So I put them in there. It's, this, is, this is a really old book that this came out of. It's from the 30s or 40s. Um, so the paper's kind of brittle. But it would be neat to use for collaging or to glue in. And then that's the back side of that flip out right there. Just a really neat variety of papers. Lots and lots of writing space in this book. Tons of writing space. 
Okay. And then up here we have a stamp. Now this is an original 1967 five cent postage stamp. It's not a copy. And then this is an original 1968 postage stamp. Again, not a copy. This is the actual piece of envelope that it came off of. Page out of that atlas book that I was showing you. And then this was a neat picture. Um, it was something about um, the new Pullman train cars, sleeping cars. Um, so it was kind of neat. It made a neat center for the signature there. And then, you know, and I know you can't really write on this, but I was thinking you can you can glue your pictures in or or your pieces of paper on there that you've wrote on, glue in, you know, other ephemera or postcards or whatnot. So not every page has to be a a writing page, but most of these are. And this is a cool page out of that book. One of those advertisements I was telling you about. It was um, it was advertising the uh, a new rail route. All the different places you could go in Montana and how many miles it was, and I thought that was kind of cool. Pullman sleepers and elegant dining cars, four days. And then I've used a little bit of Tim Holtz ephemera there. He has some of them little mini mini pictures, and they're kind of neat. Um, and you could cover over those if you don't if you don't like them. But I thought they gave them kind of a cute cute little touch, like they've been on a trip, like this one. And there's only like four in the whole journal, so if you don't like them, they're very easy to cover up. I think they're standing in front of the Eiffel Tower there. And so I've included, I think there's like three sheets of this paper, stationary type paper. And then this is one of the tags from the kit. And it ha and I've put on a little metal Eiffel Tower embellishment. And then I had this little Paris tag. I think it was a Tim Holtz tag. And then this uh, ribbon here is um, well, I guess it would be vintage now. It was from the 80s. It was in my mom's craft things. And I have a little embellished paper clip. And on the back of the paper clip, I've just included another little cutout from that book that, had, that talked about Belgium. And I put this little photograph with it because I thought it was kind of cute. Like maybe this was the photograph of them standing outside the building. I don't know, like it was a little keepsake, something to remember. I don't know, you can take them out if you don't like them. Okay, and then this is the back of that menu. And I created a little tuck spot here because it was, you know, wider. And then this is an actual post postcard. A real one. This isn't a reproduction. This is one I bought in the um, antique store. This is from 1962, I think. I think, yeah, 1962. And then it has the stamp still on it. So again, it's an original, not a copy. Okay, it's Tim Holtz journaling card there. And then we have a journaling card here. And another one of Artie Mays's envelopes. Artie Mays's? Artie Mays's? <laughs> another one of those envelopes from Artie Mays on Etsy. There we go. And so this one is just um, uh, like a handwritten letter, I think, from the graphics fairy. And then I just printed it on some distressed paper on the back. So that way you have plenty of room to write your own thing on there, but yet it looks like a really cool old letter in the envelope, in the Odimazes envelope. <laughs> uh, I'm getting tired. Okay. And more paper, more tea dyed paper. This one has something about um, 
I don't know, the Southern, I think it's a, like a rail advertisement on the paper. So I put one of these little Tim Holtz train check ephemera things on there. And then here in the tuck, we have one of the little airline tickets, blank on the back, and some more little stationary paper. And then this is one of the tags from the kit. And then I put some Tim Holtz ephemera, like a little circle, and it's written in French. Um, so that made a neat little thing to put on the top there. And then down here in the corner, I'll lift it up so you can see the embellishing here. And then this flips up. It was um, Yvonne Preston I got that idea from, doing the little flip-ups on the corner like that. I don't know that if they were her idea or somebody else's, but that's where I learned it. And then that one flips up too. And then in this one I have another uh, airline ticket. And a journaling card and a hot air balloon journaling card. All of these things are all blank on the back so you can write on them so they're functional. Functional is good. Okay, page out of the book. This was kind of neat. I had a um, Weber Canyon view somewhere out. Okay, then here again some more original stamps. These are from 1980. Not quite, well, I don't know. I guess they're vintage. If they're vintage, that means I'm vintage. <laughs> Tim Holtz ephemera here, Tim Holtz journaling card there, which it creates a tuck spot. You can access it from the front side here or from the back. And so when you do access it from the back, it exposes this little Explorer tag I've added there. Um, and so what I have here is just a page out of that Atlas book, but it's blank on the back so that Again, it's functional, so you can write on that. And a little bit more collaging, collaging. And I have a little brown paper sack here. And I did leave this, um, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. loose in the back. So you can tuck something skinny back there if you wanted to. I didn't have anything, so I didn't, but you could. So I have some journaling paper here, double-sided, that I have tucked in there. Ooh, I better hurry along, the dogs are getting upset. And something out of that travel journal kit. More of that ribbon from the 80s. So semi-vintage, I guess you could call it. And I won't open this envelope up. Inside this one is another plain piece of tea dyed paper that I distressed with ink, just like the very first one. It's identical to it, and another card. Okay, I have another pocket that's embellished. Journal card, and a Tim Holtz card. Okay. And then another piece of paper that pulls out. Blank all on that side, blank all on this side. Okay. And then this just says take a trip. And the finger's pointing at something on the map and I have a little bit of lace up there, or trimming up there. Little piece of map. And then here, I have the little British flag down there. And then again, this is one of those tuck spots that you can access from this side or the other side. So you can even pull that out back here. And this little British flag banner, I got that from Maggie. Um, Maggie from... Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll have to put her link below. I can't remember her shop name now. Something about textiles. She, she's the one you see all the beautiful Indian textile fabrics. She and I send each other things almost monthly. And that just folds out. So I've grunged it all up and kind of folded it a few times. So it's, you know, not supposed to look perfect. It's supposed to look worn and that folds up in there. 
and then this is the title page out of that atlas book so that's where it says it's a reproduction from 1876 the book itself was like from the late uh, 60s yeah 1969 edition so the book is an old book that is a reproduction of an even older book <laughs> if that makes sense okay and then I have a little Tim Holtz card here airmail and then the embellished paper clip that I made and then on the back side is a neat one of, is a pretty picture out of the kit the travel journal kit okay then in this tuck spot we have journaling card another piece out of that old book in that section on Belgium that was kind of cool so there's some neat pictures in there and another pic paper out of that book that's blank on the back and just have another one of those little Tim Holtz photographs another original stamp this one is also from 1967 and it is from the original envelope and the little bit of distressing you see here was not me that is original <laughs> that is uh, authentic and in this pocket we just have another one of those tickets from Artie Mays and a Tim Holtz card and there's still room for you to tuck your own things in. Oops, I think I forgot to glue the bottom on that one. I'll fix that. Yep, I did. Totally forgot to glue the bottom. <laughs> got, got in a hurry, I guess. I'll fix that. And then we have a little picture. Oops, come into focus. There we go. And few more pages and then we're done journaling card paper clipped here and then the blue paper is map paper and then another envelope from Artie Mays this one is identical to the one that has the letter inside it so there's two with the letters and two that are plain tea dyed paper this flips out. That's the other part of that advertisement. Little tuck spot here. Where to go. Talks about hotels and tours and traveling and and then here we have another pretty picture out of the kit and another page out of the book and then that's you know, a lot of empty space up there to the top for you to ride on. What I thought was really cool about this one is it was a list of um, towns that were in Wyoming um, at the time that that book was made, or the original, original book, like so the late 1800s. But this was kind of neat. It said, recently established post office location, not definitely known. Recently established post office location, not definitely known. <laughs> Okay, and that's it. I'm gonna have this neat fabric here on the inside. That I I've let it fray out around the edges, but it's uh, stitched with a um, zigzag stitch so that it won't unravel past the stitching. And that just folds up around there, just like that. So anyway, I'm going to get this put on the. Etsy shop tonight. I'll probably get the, the journal listed before this video uploads. So when you see this, it's probably already listed. All right. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gave you some inspiration because um, I know watching others journals gives me a lot of inspiration. So I hope it's done the same for you. Happy crafting. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.